Let's introduce the candidates. Minnesota's Democratic Governor Tim Walls and Ohio's Republican Senator J.D. Vance tonight meeting for the first time. First of all, let's, let's start with the hurricane because it's an unbelievable, unspeakable human tragedy. I'm sure Governor Walz joins me in saying our hearts go out to those innocent people, our prayers go out to them, and we want as robust and aggressive as a federal response as we can get. Senator Vance has said that there's a climate problem in the past. Donald Trump called it a hoax and then joked that these things would make more beachfront property to be able to invest in. We have a historic immigration crisis because Kamala Harris started and said that she wanted to undo all of Donald Trump's border policies. This is what happens when you don't want to solve it. You demonize it. And we saw this, and, and Senator Vance, and it surprises me on this, talking about and saying, I will create stories to bring attention to this. That vilified a large number of people who were here legally in the community of Springfield. The people that I'm most worried about in Springfield, Ohio, are the American citizens who have had their lives destroyed by Kamala Harris's open border. It is a disgrace, Tim. And I actually think, I agree with you. I think you want to solve this problem, but I don't think that Kamala Harris does. Thank Margaret, you. The, the, the rules were that the you economy, guys weren't going to fact check. And since you're fact checking me, I think it's important to say what's actually going on. Thank you, gentlemen. The, the, the we CBP want to have one app has not been on the books it's, since 1990. It's something that Kamala Harris created. <laughs> gentlemen, you're, the audience can't hear you because your mics are cut. But as I read the Minnesota law that you signed into, into 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 law, the statute that you signed into law, it says that a doctor who presides over an abortion where the baby survives, the doctor is under no obligation to provide life-saving care to a baby who survives a botched late-term abortion. That is, I think, That's whether you're pro-choice or pro-abortion, is. that is fundamentally barbaric. These are women's decisions to make about their health care decisions and the physicians who know best when they need to do this. Trying to distort the way a law is written to try and make a point. That's not it but at what all. What was I wrong this about, was, Governor? I, look, please tell me, is, what was that, I wrong about? That is about? not the way the law is written. Well, I think all the parents watching tonight, this is just your biggest nightmare. Look, I got a, I got a 17 year old and, uh, and he witnessed a shooting at a community center playing volleyball. Those Awful. things don't leave you. I 100% believe that Senator Vance hates it when these kids, it, it, it's abhorrent and it breaks your heart. I, I agree with that, but it's, that's not far enough when we know there are things that worked. Tim, first of all, I didn't know that your 17-year-old witnessed a shooting. And I'm sorry about that, and I, I hope appreciate that you're doing you okay. So. Christ have mercy. January 6 was not Facebook ads. This was a threat to our democracy in a way that we had not seen. And it manifested itself because of Donald Trump's inability to say. He is still saying he didn't lose the election. I would just ask that. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to... that is a damning non-answer. Kamala Harris is bringing us a new way forward. She's bringing us a politics of joy. She's bringing real solutions for the middle class, and she's centering you at the heart of that. We have the greatest country, the most beautiful country, the most incredible people anywhere in the world but they're not going to be able to achieve their full dreams with the broken leadership that we have in Washington. And whether you vote for me or vote for Tim Walls, I just want to say I'm so proud to be doing this and I'm rooting for you. God bless you and good night.